UK do a wonderful job, and what they do a wonderful job is, is we believe in teaching ladies to fish, not to be fed, and they do a wonderful job, and they have, they teach ladies how to dress to go to interview for a job, they teach them what to say and how to say it, and they just work with them to get them back on their feet, and the best story that they've ever told me, and I'll let Kay tell it, because she never told it to me, is about a young lady, and her only, only flaw in life was she had a birthday, and, and I'll let that be her story, but we do a good job of getting the ladies back on their feet, and it's a shame, but some people lose their home strictly over a birthday. Kay, would you like to tell that story? I'll be delighted to, and let me just tell you that we serve women from 19 to 90 years of age, and it's amazing how many different types of women find themselves homeless. Jerry's talking about a young woman named Dee. Dee came to us having had her 18th birthday and aging out of foster care. When she did that, the foster parents were no longer able to keep her, or, and she didn't re-sign herself into foster care, but she had no place to live. We got a call from the Heard County Sheriff's Department that he had a young woman that needed a place to stay. And of course, we welcomed her into our shelter where she too learned the skills that she needed to make a life for herself. She's today independent and living in Heard County and she has a job and she's having a wonderful, wonderful Christmas with her family this year. And we thank Jerry for serving on our board of directors. He's a wonderful director and he keeps us on our feet and he keeps us on our toes. And we wanna thank Chris Patton and Mike Patton Automotive for everything that they have done to help us this Christmas season. It's just a delight to know that ladies who came into the shelter last night under the cloak of authority will have Christmas for themselves and their children today. And we thank you so very much. What she left out of the critical part of it, she's politer than I am, the, the people's check stopped. So it was hit the, hit the road, little girl. And she was sleeping in a camper in 30 degree weather that a hunter's had and the deputy sure found her and brought her to us in the middle of the night because she had no heat, no water, no electricity. And so it's that cruel world out there. For some people, if they're not getting a check, it's like hit the road. And so they, they get some sad cases and they do a great job with it. And those three ladies got a big heart. And thank y'all for having a big heart too. We appreciate everything you do. Jim, would you just tell a little bit about the uh, sponsors? Uh, we got, yes, uh, this is the second year I've done it, but I was very fortunate the first year uh, with the patent's uh, approval and eagerly saying yes right away. And uh, I guess I've just been touched in my past. So um, when I just see people bring toys, and I, I've already told some of you about uh, Leslie in the office. When we first started this, there was a car out here, and there was nothing in it. Well. She couldn't stand it, her husband couldn't stand it. They went out during lunch and bought brand new basketballs and footballs to start this off with. That's the kind of spirit that we need to help. I get a little emotional, I'm sorry, but I love kids and I love to help people. And I mean, if you look at this, this is a lot that people aren't gonna have normally, but yet with everybody's effort, especially at Mike Patton, I mean, over 50% of the people that gave was from this uh, from this dealership and from this franchise of this one and the, and the Chrysler and also the Ford. And so I, I'm just so grateful for everybody that brings it. I'm also grateful again like uh, for Chris for letting us have that. Mike for all of his support. I mean, he was sitting there. Uh, I, I gave, we gave him the idea. He ran with it and it turned out awesome. And, and I'm very, very happy with that. And we have uh, our sponsors. Uh, I went over here and talked to this fine man, Scott. Poor thing, he just took over the day he took over this store across the street at, at the at Lafayette Mall. Then I said, here, and he goes, wow, okay. And this is his first day. But, but, uh, he said, okay, Jim, we, uh, we'll do that. And uh, another girl, Kim, was leaving, and he took it over, and he helped us out right away, no hesitation. And then uh, I called Tim Tyson. Is Amy here from Carmike Cinemas? Okay, Amy, uh, Tim Tyson had a big corporate meeting in Columbus where their headquarters are and he couldn't come here, but he gave us out tons of passes. We got plenty of Chick-fil-A, no hesitation when I told him what it was for, for you guys, and, and it was just,
there's no decision. And so I want to, and I thank Tim Tyson, and I thank uh, Amy, the uh, girl that's local here in the theater, and, and also I thank Scott for uh, doing all this for us. And thank you for letting us be a part of your Christmas at the Emma's house. Thank you so much from Chris and me and, and everybody here and Mike and everybody here. Thank you and Chick-fil-A. Thank you for letting us be a part because it's a feel-good feeling. And that's what Christmas is about, as we said in the meeting this morning, is giving and making somebody else's life better. Whether it's a little bit or a lot, it all counts. Thank you so much. Let's get them loaded, right? Yeah, let's go. Can I get a photo of everybody between the two cars? Yeah. yeah. Between okay. the two cars. We're going to take a picture. Oh, we got back.